You ever wake up and go, damn, I wish I could play the video game fast, but then you remember your brain is akin to a hamster who just swallowed half a gallon of sugar and can't remember the simplest of codes? As of such, you have to brute force them all, which really kills any chance of your adventure being called fast. Well, I have a solution for you. It's called cheating in the debug menu. Listen, cheating is for idiots, and my friends, I am an idiot. So today we're going to explore speedrunning using the debug menu. I want to put a massive disclaimer here real quick. Actually cool people legit speedrun this game. Their work is hella impressive and it's awesome. I highly advise you guys check out some of their work. I'm just an idiot with way too much time on his hands and an editing software, so I'm trying to make an enjoyable experience here, but their work is something I genuinely think you should take some time out to check out. So you wake up brain buzzed from the six to five hour energies you just took five seconds ago and you wonder if it's 30 hours of energy or if you're about to die. You boot into the game and boom, it's time you remember a promise. Wake up, it's the first of the month. Now here's where normal people will begin playing the game. Perhaps they would pull out some simple cheats, Hestia, Lawnmower, Arsenal, and we gotta remember the most important one, Outfit 4. This is an Issa appreciation channel. She is cool and badass and cool and I will have no naysayers tell me otherwise. These cheats are cool. And maybe if you trim your god-awful 12-hour run that I had to a nice normal 1 hour or 3 hours, if you have the ability to follow simple guides that I do not have. However, that's not what we, we came here for. Nah, nah, we here for speed. Call me the Flash, because we might be doing some fast. Method 1 breaking into Arion's house. See, at the start of the game, they give us a little tease, a little hint of what is to come, but what if we just, you know, wake up and boop, open that command line. Then we type ourselves a nice little intruder and click past 90% of the game. Oh my god, we are now totally legitimately in Arion's house. We totally should be here. Listen, who plays video games? We just teleport into the house. Anything for our babe. From here, it's simple. You grab yourself Arsenal, Lawnmower, Outfit 4, and Hash Gear. You walk down the sweaty hallway and you show folk how many folks you give, which is zero. Shortly after, shooty, shooty, bang, bang, then you give her the Asana from the Evangelion treatment and boom end of game acquired you pull up on your sweeping beauty and then you pass away next door before she even recognizes you were gone but we can go faster method two one man should not have all that power arsenal check lawnmower check breaking in the arion's house check hash gear check sicko mode pulling up into the debug we just type into the handy dandy dock of 1000 we're also going to swoop give spear now we cut through fault like a nice hot knife through an eight foot tall hellspawn butter and every time we use one of those spears we just swoop and there's more and what's even better this way we ain't pulling up fast enough we must, well, like Sonic once said, buckle your seatbelt, because we gotta go fast. Method 3. Home Alone 3. Space now, life. starting off, you already know the basics. We pull up, first teleporting through space and time, and we find our way to hang out with the babe. Oh shit, the babe was fake. Ah, uh, no problem. We just break into her house again, and this time we teleport behind Falk. Passing her, like right, she's some old lady on the freeway, we are once again reunited with the babe, with plenty of time to spare. 